Hello ladies and gentlemen, greetings Mech Warriors. this is TGB speaking and welcome back to Mech Warrior Online. As you can see from this friendly smiling mech, today we are running the King Crab Hero Mech, the Kaiju. And of course this means there will be a lot of destruction to be had for the enemy team. 100 ton Inner Sphere Assault Power, Ultra AC-20, 2 MRM-30s, Light Engine 340 and some ammo for the UAC-20 as well as the MRMs, Double Heat Sinks and of of course endo steel structure as well as uh, yep that's pretty much it actually put most of the armor up front of course make sure you take the armor skills for this mech as well as anything that lowers heat generation from those weapons of course and uh, you want to get all the missile and ballistic hard notes as well so you can get the extra ammo and the extra lethality all right let's keep on pushing towards the enemy here in this first match ah frozen city a beautiful map and really good for this mech because it runs very very hot this is the crab that toasts itself basically okay Let's see what we can do here. I'm trying to flank a little bit into Fox 7 right now. I don't want to move directly into the enemy team in Echo 7. There is no cover there. Uh, just a long, long road of death. Uh, so that would be a bad choice. So let's try and see what we can make happen here. Enemy Mad Cat over there. All right. Some other assault mech to our left. Oh, hello there, Mr. Mad Cat. And as you saw, I just shot my MRM-30s and just about as they were to hit, I shot the UAC-20 because those projectiles travel faster and I didn't want to give this guy too much time to turn around uh, while he first realizes that he gets hit. So, let's push into Fox 7, it should be reasonably clear with the exception of that one guy in Gulf 7 and uh, try and roll the field from the back. Uh, what do we have here? Nightshire, alright. 400-ish meters, we need to get a little bit closer for the UAC-20, but we can definitely shoot the MRM-30s, and now we have the range for the UAC-20 as well. Just push in on him, do a little bit of damage, and try and take him out as fast as possible. And as you can see, this build is quite toasty. Oh, we're already at max heat, but that's okay, we'll just run a cool shot, and then we duck us some more. He's still alive, though. Uh, there we go. Okay, now he's dead. Now we can push in on the rest of the enemy team. It's a battle master that wants to apparently fight me. He's got medium lasers, one large pulse laser, and two heavy machine guns. Not the perfect armament to fight a king crab, I might say. You're, you'll die horribly. Okay, let's see. It's a griffin that's just jumping around and walking around. That's okay though. We'll just give him a little bit of the ye old MRM 30 love times two. And then we can push in towards the main enemy force because uh, they have moved towards Echo 7 and hopefully our team... Wow! Never cross in front of an assault mech, dude! Unfortunately, I think I hit him uh, with a little bit of the UAC-20 here. Uh, there's nothing you can do. If you're zoomed in, you don't see it. There's no chance. Alright, let's push in on the Stalker. He seems to be very, very alone and... Uh, will just be the crab people. The giant enemy crab that hopefully claims his kill. No, nope. we don't claim his head, uh, but he does a nose dive anyway, that's fine. Uh, and I see a mad cat looking at me. What are you looking at, dude? Yeah, that's right, you're looking at nothing. <laughs> Another one bites the dust, or in this case, bites the snow. Battlemaster's still alive, but he just lost his arm, so no more heavy machine guns. Look at that flea! Look at that flea. If you stand still against the UAC-20, you're so dead. So, so dead. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish up the battle master. He overheated and he died. Perfect. So we can move on towards the Griffin again, who still wants to be the pesky. Okay. You know what? You can play this game. Oh, also, hello, Mr. Spider. Can we snap another light mech? Eh. Nope. Okay. Ah, it's really hard to hit with this projectile because you've got three projectiles and they move uh, at a very, very weird speed. So. It's very hard to hit with this weapon, but if you hit, ah, it's just so beautiful. I mean, this mech is a heavy mech and assault mech killer. It's not a light mech hunter. That is for sure. Right, there's the griffin again. Walking right into my trap. Haha, it's a trap. And now we just shoot the MRMs and take down the griffin. There shall be no more majestic flight for you, good sir. Um, and that's a catapult over there. All right. Let's go ahead and give him some more love. Whoa, little Irby. Ah. Uh, that's another thing guys, never push straight towards an enemy mech uh, if you know you have teammates behind you. Really, really bad thing to do. You're shielding the enemy with your own ass. Another smart thing to do. Okay, so the enemy team has all control points. Last guy is at Feda right now, even though the team isn't realizing it. 
fully yet, that's okay. Um, and this just a Vapor Eagle that doesn't have any weapons. The enemy team has 550 points. <laughs> this is going to be a close one. Alright, we need to kill this guy fast so he stops blocking that spot. There we go, the MRMs actually did it. And uh, now I'm just uh, on comms, trying to direct the people to move towards the capture points, telling them to not stand around that fader, but rather move their asses towards the quick capture points, because I am arriving there. But unfortunately this guy didn't seem to be on there or whatnot, doesn't matter. So, capping fader, um, there's no enemies around, so it's literally just run around and wait for the team to cap. Enemy team is at 700-ish now, still has two points. One point left, kappa 702. And as you can see, it is a close one, but still, we win. So, as always guys, play for the kills, don't play for the objectives. It doesn't matter if you have the flags in most cases. If you're dead, you lose. Okay, let's go ahead and have a look at the scoreboard. 4 killing blows, 7 assists, 1 solo kill, 4 kill most damage dealt, 930 damage done, 43 team damage, yeah, okay, sorry about that, and uh, 8 components taken out, so really, really powerful mech, really enjoyable mech as well, but runs quite hot, but uh, let's see how this mech actually fares in the second match of the day, right here, Mining Collective, one of my favorite maps, I just love this thing. Okay, as we've learned from the past match, this thing is very toasty. First thing to do on this mech is engage override so you don't overheat. Okay, so the enemy team is doing something very weird right now. Apparently they're pushing into the Delta 4 area, looking at the radar. Um, you should never be there. Like, you should never be uh, across and moving in towards the enemy team on this map. You'll just die. You'll just get overrun. The enemy team is always there with their full team. So, um... Yeah, and the guy is dead, of course. So, as I said, the, he just basically gifted himself over to us, but that's okay for me. You know what? If you want to feed the crab and the crab's team, then go ahead and feed him. That's fine. So, enemy team is already in the center. It doesn't look like the team actually wants to go ahead and take the center. Oh, Atlas, Charger, and Madcat. No, 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 no. I'm not going to go solo against these guys. I'm not stupid. I'm crazy, but I'm not stupid. So... Let's stay down below here, that's low signal. Okay, probably the Atlas up top. Um, let's see, can we get a cheap shot off here? Maybe from down below? Uh, okay. Yeah, there's, there's no customers coming, unfortunately. Okay, so plan B, push towards Echo 4 and then roll them up from behind. So that is exactly what we'll do when Summoner just died. We have three kills up, actually, already. Which is quite funny, like the enemy team has the center of the map, but we're still kills up and what the... Is that thing alive? Oh yeah, it's alive! Okay, never mind then. Okay, so... <laughs> if it's alive, shoot it! Enemy Roughneck taking you the rough into the face, overheating and dying. Beautiful! Alright, let's keep on pushing around the corner. Make sure you round that little steel girder so you can get up here. Unless you have jump jets, of course, then you don't have to do that. And uh, ooh, perfect UAV, enemy charger, I just marked him, hopefully the teammates will realize that, and yes, perfect, double fired on CT plus lasers, and he's dead. That's the power of teamwork, guys, that's the power of concentrated fire. It helps, it's really good, you should try it sometime. Alrighty, going in on an enemy awesome, I think we're behind him, and it's just a learn boat, and it's a... Uh, dead very quickly. I uh, couldn't hit the uh, wolf on properly, but that's okay. Hello, Mr. Atlas. Uh, AC-20, MM-40, ER mediums and AMS. Not a bad build, but it cannot stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. So let's see if we can get around the corner and do anything. Nope, we can't. He's dead already, but that's okay. We'll just help on killing with this guy. And here is a prime target for me. Yes, Mad Cat. A flimsy mad cat with PPCs. No chance in hell, especially if you're getting roasted by my teammate with flamers. Oh, that's painful. Yeah, that, as I said, guys, this mech is a heavy and assault hunter. We're a giant enemy crab for crying out loud, so go ahead and go after the giant enemies. Don't go after the small fry. Like you, in most cases, it's not worth the extra heat to take that shot. And I had to uh, actually disable override there as to not blow away my own side torsos, as you can see down below on my paper door. Well, let's go ahead and have a look at the scoreboard. And by the way, guys, if you like the content I'm making, then go ahead and consider becoming a patron to my channel. Link in the video description below. Two killing blows, seven assists, one solo kill, three kill most damage dealt, five components taken out, 656 damage done. Well, 
That was a nice round. Go ahead, try out that build. Let me know how it works for you. Thanks for watching. TTB out.